Hello, my name is HT Fennec and welcome to my all new playlist called Schizophrenic's Face Off. This series of videos will put various fictional characters against each other, comparing their skills across 10 categories to determine who would win a one on one no holds barred contest. This very first video will see two of the deadliest Yautja from the cinematic universe go head to head as Wolf takes on the Berserker. In the blue corner we have veteran and elite predator Wolf, who in 2004 accepted the unenviable challenge of containing a xenomorph outbreak on Earth. Named after Harvey Keitel's character in Pulp Fiction for being an expert in clearing up the mess created by others, Wolf is a well-respected Yautja. During his time in Colorado, Wolf killed at least five people, which included Deputy Ray, a town local, a couple of armed store employees, and some blonde girl. More impressively, Wolf slew many xenomorphs and fought the menacing abomination that was the Predalien to a draw. In the red corner, we have Berserker, also known as Mr. Black, Super Black, and one of the baddest predators to have ever existed. Aptly named after Viking warriors that would literally go berserk in battle, the Berserker is from a bloodline of bad blood super predators who are superior in size to regular Yautja. In 2010, this clan leader handpicked a series of lethal opponents to combat on the Game Preserve planet. During this time, the Berserker defeated Navy SEAL Drake, serial killer and convict Walter Stans, as well as his bitter rival, the crucified predator from the Jungle Hunter clan. His only loss was an embarrassing defeat to the pianist. Now that we have introduced today's pugilists, let's look at the tail of the tape. Each of today's combatants will be judged on 10 categories, which include physical traits. These are their physical advantages. Strength, literally how strong they are. Speed and agility, how fast and agile they are. Durability, which measures their pain tolerance. Heart, or willingness to fight even against the odds. Fighting skill, their proficiency as a fighter. Weaponry, what weapons they possess. Strategic intelligence, the ability to use strategy and tactics in battle. Ring psychology, the ability to psych out their opponent and Killer Instinct, which looks at how ruthless they are in a fight situation. With all that cleared up, let's ring the bell and commence battle. Round 1 Described as larger and more powerful than the more traditional Yautja, Berserker clearly wins this round, as these longer, leaner predators would clearly have the reach advantage. But Wolf is no pygmy, and he is only slightly smaller than his adversary. As a result, this is a close 10-9 round to the Berserker. Round 2 The best point of reference to gauge the Berserker's strength is when he faces the Crucified Predator. Every time the two tied up, it was the Crucified Predator that was pushed back. Ultimately, this short but brutal fight ended with the Berserker overwhelming his smaller rival and decapitating him. This scene clearly elucidates that the Berserker is superior in strength to a regular Yautja. However, Wolf is no regular Yautja and displayed his might against a far larger foe. Wolf was strong enough to overpower two Xenomorphs simultaneously and even held his ground against a more powerful adversary such as the Predalien. He was pushed back in these exchanges, however the Predalien was close to 10 feet tall and massively outweighed even the Berserker. This really is a hard category to decipher, so I'll think I'll sit on the fence with a tie, but it could go either way. Round 3 The Berserker does not seem as fast as a regular Predator, and Royce was able to run around him utilising quick attacks. He did not seem that agile either, and spent less time moving around in trees. Wolf, however, moved extremely quickly when pursuing Deputy Ray and the Xenomorphs. He also displayed agility when fighting multiple aliens simultaneously. Therefore, this is a 10-8 round to Wolf. Round 4 The Berserker is incredibly durable, and shook off Stan's attack when he began stabbing him repeatedly. 
More impressively, however, he was able to withstand the blast from multiple grenades that were attached to Edwin and even survived being shot in the chest by Isabel's sniper rifle. Despite being worn down by Royce's repeated running attacks, the berserker still got the better of him until he was decapitated by his axe. Wolf seems equally durable and survived being knocked off a walkway and falling onto a protruding piece of metal. He was also pushed down an elevator shaft and even kept fighting when mortally wounded by the Predalien's tail. It literally took a nuclear bomb to stop him. For me, this round is also a draw. Round 5 The Berserker does show heart when in battle and this was certainly the case when he was outnumbered. He not only kills the crucified Predator but fights Isabel and Royce simultaneously. Furthermore, he continued to do battle when Royce rendered his heat vision useless. Wolf, however, wins this round hands down. For me, no Predator has shown as much heart as this individual in the cinematic universe. From the offset, he is outnumbered, outmatched, and at a massive disadvantage, yet is completely relentless in his mission. Never shying away from battle, he tracks and fights multiple xenomorphs and even disarms to test his might against the far larger Pred Alien. As a result, this is a 10-8 round for Wolf. Round 6 Although he may be as strong or even stronger than Wolf, the Berserker seems to rely too heavily on his strength. For instance, when he fires his plasma caster, he is outsmarted by the crucified predator, who jumps behind a fallen tree, then re-emerges cloaked in this Pearl Harbor job. Despite this, the berserker delivers a series of brutal headbutts that stun the crucified predator before he decapitates him. Even when fighting the far weaker Royce, berserker relies on his physical assets, violently beating the man with his bare hands. Wolf, however, is a truly skilled fighter and uses technique to throw xenomorphs around, as well as spinning attacks against the Predalien with his combi stick. In addition to this, he tore off the Predalien's inner jaw and impaled the Predalien's head with his wrist blades. Due to this, Wolf convincingly wins another round 10-8. Round 7 The Berserker is lightly armed by Yautja standards and only possessed a plasma caster and an elongated wrist blade. Despite his equipment being upgraded, such as the Gatling style plasma caster, projectile wrist blade, updated version of the cloak and bio mask which could detect the pulse of his prey, he is still at a disadvantage in this round. This is because when it comes to weaponry, Wolf is armed to the teeth and possesses two plasma casters a custom-built plasma pistol, a combi stick, bladed whip, shuriken, laser mines, and power punch glove, as well as dissolving liquid. Wolf has an unrivaled arsenal, and this is a crushing round, where he wins 10-7. Round 8 Despite being a brute, the Berserker did use strategy and showcased this when he caught Isabel and Edwin in a net, taking them back to the hunting camp as hostages, as opposed to killing them. He also allowed Royce to board the Yautja spacecraft before detonating it, and outsmarted him again when he detected his heartbeat as he hid behind a tree. Despite his strategic acumen, he loses this round because Wolf is a tactical master. An example of this was when he tracked the residue of the facehuggers to the town sewers and cleverly set three laser nets to contain the xenomorphs, using himself as bait to draw them in. Similarly, he captured Dallas Howard and utilised him as bait for the xenomorphs within the store. This is therefore a narrow 10-9 win for Wolf. Round 9 The Berserker is extremely adept at psyching out his prey and immediately began the hunt by toying with the humans to test their sanity and emotion. The first test was to send the tracker predator's dogs in to flush his opponents out and observe their strengths and weaknesses. Secondly, he would use Cuchillo to lure Royce and the others into a cunning trap. This was done with the falconer mimicking the voice of his fallen prey as a distress call to draw the others in. In contrast, Wolf does not seem to use much psychology and only hangs the flayed corpse of Deputy Ray as a warning to others. Clearly, this is a devastating round for the Berserker, and he takes it 10 8. Round 10 Unlike the classic Predators, the Berserker follows no honor code and does not fight honorably. 
He brutally kills whatever stands in his way, armed or not, healthy or sick, male or female, young or old. This was seen when he stabbed a downed and defenceless Edwin in the back with his wrist blade, as well as shoot Isabel with the same weapon. Furthermore, when he found the ship taking off with Royce, he activated his remote detonator by pressing a button on his wrist gauntlet, then walked away completely undeterred as the ship exploded in the air. Berserker will use any situation to his advantage, and unlike the Jungle Hunter, did not remove his equipment when engaging both the crucified Predator and Royce. In stark contrast, Wolf has honour in abundance, and displays this when he warns the woman from picking up the revolver that she reaches for. In addition to this, he also disarms when facing the physically superior Predalien. Although Wolf shows no mercy when killing Xenomorphs and even humans that are armed, he is nowhere near as ruthless as the Berserker and loses the final round 10-8. As we tally up the scores, it is clear that Wolf has won this closely fought contest and despite a quick start made by the Berserker, Wolf slowly took control of the ring and asserted his dominance. Berserker did mount a late comeback, but it was too little too late as Wolf managed to hold on to his victory. As a result, Wolf has proven himself as an apex predator among other Yautja. Please let me know if you agreed or disagreed with this outcome and give reasons why. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then please suggest other Yautja face-off battles or even predators against other fictional characters. As always, thank you for watching and please be sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to subscribe.